So for my nutrition assessment video, I'll be talking about the mini nutritional assessment tool. Um, it is used to identify elderly persons who are malnourished or at risk of malnutrition. So, Mr. Conyers. Yes, ma'am. You are 70 years old, is mm -hmm. that correct? Uh, last time I counted. Okay, so let's see here. I have just a couple questions for you. I'm a dietitian. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yes, go ahead, sweetie. Okay. So, how's your appetite been in the past three months? Uh, what's an appetite? I haven't had one of those. No? No, I'm not hungry at all. You haven't felt like eating? Not really. Okay, um, have you had any problems with chewing or swallowing? Um, no. Okay. I would ask the patient this to see how many, if they're at risk of malnutrition because if they don't have an appetite for an extended period of time, there's a uh, risk for them to be losing a lot of weight. So then my next question would be, have you had any weight loss during the past three months that you didn't mean to lose? Yeah, so I've been losing weight steadily, say about eight, nine, ten pounds. Okay, do you know when that started? Uh, at least, yes, within the three months for sure. Okay. And how often do you get out of bed? Do you get out of bed often? Do you go out often? No, I stick around the house, but besides that, that's it. But you do walk around the house when you can? Uh, occasionally, as much as a seven-year-old would. Okay. Um, so, and have you had, suffered any psychological stress or any problems lately with that type of thing? Just besides worrying about not having an appetite, I really can't think of it. Okay. Hmm. And do you know what your current weight is right now? Yes. I weigh 153 pounds. 153? Mm-hmm. Okay, so three months ago you think you weighed about 163? Yeah, it might have been, I was probably over 165, actually, okay. come to think of it. Alrighty. So then I would tally up the number from that screening to then assess the patient. So then I would ask these types of questions. Um, so, do you live by yourself? Yes, I do. Okay. Actually, no, I do not. I live with my cat. Oh, okay, okay, but you don't... Uh, no other, no other. Nobody else, okay. Um, and it looks like you take about five medications a day. Mm -hmm. I was just worried about my cat. Okay, it looks like you um, don't have any pressure ulcers. Um, how many meals a day do you think you consume? Lately, two to three. Two to three? Okay. Would you say you eat complete, the whole meal or you just kind of pick at it? Um, I, I don't finish my meals, but I eat as much as I can until I'm satisfied. Okay. So in the past week for breakfast, about, would you say you eat maybe 50% of your meal or less or more? Um, hmm, 50%. 50% for breakfast? Yeah. What about lunch? I eat a good amount of fair amount of my lunch. I usually finish it. Okay, so 100% lunch. Mm -hmm. And then how about dinner? How about, how much do you think about for that? About 50% or less. 50% or less? Yes, we always have leftovers. Okay. Okay, and then, so during the day, I want to see how much protein that you get in your diet. Um, would you say you have at least one serving of dairy per day? Mm, some days, not every day. Not every day, okay. Um, would you say you have two or more servings of beans or eggs per week? Yeah. Okay. What about meat, fish, or poultry, like chicken? Do you have it every day? Uh, not every day. Okay. And then, 
would you say you eat two or more servings of fruit or vegetables per day? No, okay. And then how much fluid do you think you have per day? Three cups, three to five cups, or more than five cups? I'd say three to five. Three to five, okay. And you're allowed to, can you eat by yourself? You don't have any problems with that? No, no, no. Okay, good. Okay, and then how do you feel about your nutritional status? Do you feel that you are okay? Or do you feel like anything's been wrong in that regard? Um, I don't know. Thinking about it, I guess I don't feel as good as I used to. But, uh, yeah, just a little bit tired some days more than others. Okay, so you've been feeling more tired than you had in the past? Yes. Okay. Um, and compared to other people that you know that are about your age, your friends, um, do you, how do you think of your health status? Do you think it's good, not as good, better? I mean... Not as good as unless they're here too. Okay, so not as good. All right, now I'm gonna do a mid-arm circumference just to check and see if he has a physical sign of malnutrition. So, Mr. Conyers. Yes, thank you. I got you, sweetie. I would measure this in centimeters around his bicep. Here, sir, you can put your arm down. Thank you. So I gotta find the meatiest portion of your arm, and then I'm gonna measure it. like we are at 33 and a half centimeters now if he had been less than 21 that would be a cause for concern um, now I'm gonna do his calf circumference in centimeters you can leave your foot down <laughs> Okay, I'll just leave this on here, sir. Okay. And we have 40. So again, if it had been less than 31 centimeters, that would also be a cause for concern. So it looks like you're pretty good, Mr. Conyers. I would then total up this score that I came up with with the questions that I asked him. And if he was from 24 to 30 points, he'd be considered normal nutritional status, even though the screening questions kind of trigger an assessment. Um, if he was at 17 to 23.5, he'd be at risk of malnutrition. And if he had less than 17 points on this screening tool, he would be considered malnourished, which I would then write in my note, submit to the physician, and have him submit that to the medical coders to put that in his diagnosis at the hospital. I would also, in order to assess malnutrition, look at his, the size of his face to see if there's any um, wasting here of the muscle. Just, this is something I would do in the hospital, ask him just to be quick. Um, I wouldn't do a full physical assessment of him, but since I already asked him those other questions, um, I would just go ahead and look at his face. Um, I would look kind of at his clavicle it's not protruding. His acromion bone is not protruding either. And his eyes are not sunken in. So I would not consider this patient malnourished based off of my screen and assessment. 